I look crazy. Oh no. Hey guys, it's Beth. Got a bit of window lead in the background today. Hoover's still there. Washing's there. Do you know what I mean? We are professionals. <laughs> I know I look absolutely insane, but I've just been for my run and I got home to a parcel and I'm really and I was really excited about it, so I just wanted to do it now. So I'm filming like this. I feel like sometimes my channel is just basically like a diary um, and it's just my real life and what I'm doing. And today I'm going full basic bitch and tie-dyeing. This hurts my legs. So I have obviously, like everyone else, just been on social media way too much and seeing everyone tie-dye everything and especially tracksuits. So from Amazon, actually, I got this jumper. It's an XXL, so it's huge on me. Um, and it's really fleecy on the inside. I'm actually really surprised at the quality because I think this was like six pounds something. And they did have joggers on there as well for like a really affordable price, but it wasn't gonna get to me until like June. And I was like, I'm really impatient. I want to do it now. Look at the difference, <laughs> the color of my hand to my face. I don't really tan my face apart from in my moisturizer. Not important. So I just typed in like white joggers and so much is out of stock at the minute. I don't know if anyone else is finding that. Um, especially in my sizes, everything is out of stock. Like all the joggers and sweat sets on like misguided, etc. that I would love to be able to purchase are just not in my size. So I got this, I got these ones, which are from in the in the style. God, I can't talk. These are from the Charlotte Crosby range on in the style um because they were the only ones on there that i could see and i got them in a 10 to 12 so they're slightly too big for me but i feel like this whole set is just gonna be baggy and look like clouds and it's gonna be cool um so that is what i'm gonna do today i've got my clothes they're a slightly different shade of white but it's not gonna matter um this is the dye i'm using it's from rit um this is the one i saw people using when i looked for youtube videos oh the sun's coming out how nice i literally went for my run and the weather was lovely the minute i walked through the front door pissed it down so i was quite lucky there this is in the shade kentucky sky so i'm hoping it's going to be like a nice blue color i've got a bag of elastic bands also from amazon and then i need some water a bucket and some bags i'm gonna go into the kitchen and do it because I'm not risking doing it anywhere else in the house because I will make a mess. Let's go! I feel like I'm in a super good mood today. I spent the past two days really feeling crap and sorry for myself and I look hideous right now. I do apologise except I don't because wow look at my roots. I'm a natural blonde but over time it went like really dark so my roots are like dark blonde. Look at the, oh Christ. I would love to get my roots done by my hairdresser who lives in Wales. Fun fact, my hairdresser is actually somebody I've known since I was like three years old. And um, I hadn't spoken to her in years. We used to be really good friends when um, we were younger. And I messaged her because I know she owns a salon. And I was like, you under my hair? She was like, sure. <laughs> so um, since then, she's the person I go to for my hair because she does an amazing, amazing job. Anyway, this is not about my hair. Yeah, the part, I think the video before this, um, where I, I spent doing a bit of self-care, you know, put a bit of tan on, um, write a to-do list, do the to-do list. Write the theme tune, sing the theme tune. Also sit and eat and wallow a little bit because we all need a bit of that sometimes. Sometimes you need to do that to completely refresh yourself. Know who the hell you are. Come on, let's go. But yeah, I'm feeling super good today. I forced myself to go for a run I wasn't going to. And then <clears throat> I just was like folding my washing, saw my um, leggings on the side and I was like, oh, fuck it. I'm gonna stick them on. I'm gonna go for a run before I shower and everything um i really need a shower but i want to do this first first things first i'm the realist um okay everything's messy in this house all the time i live with two men fuck i've got 
got a bucket. <laughs> I don't know if I need this, if I'm honest. And yeah, I do need this. I got Harry to fish out a bucket from the garage because for some reason there's like an overwhelming amount of buckets in the garage. Um, I don't know. And this one was the least filthy, but it definitely needs a wash. I'm gonna do that. And to also put this in the dishwasher from my banana bread this morning. I have an issue where I'm obsessed with banana bread. Again, basic as fuck. I can't help it, it's so tasty. I'll just get get rid of my stuff, put in the little dishwash. Little shish wash on. Okay, we'll deal with these ones later because they ain't gonna fit in the dishwasher. Okay, this bit's not important. I'm gonna wash my bucket. Sounds like a euphemism. Okay, I'm doing this in the conservatory. It is a mess in here, so I'm trying not to show you. I've got a plastic bag down. This is where I'm going to do it. I've got a bucket of water. It looks kind of soapy, but it should be fine. Um, bucket of water. Here are my garments and my uh, elastic bands. <laughs> Recycling bin. Okay, this is the worst filming ever. You can see outside. It's great. Maybe I should do it. Out no, I can't. It's basically just rained. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is dip these into the water. I'm scared. And it goes, get it nice and saturated. So I wrung as much of the water out as I could. Obviously, they're still pretty damp. And I am going to do the crinkle technique, which is where you you pretty much just like scrunch it all up. <laughs> it's really hard to do with one hand. I'm sorry I don't have a better filming setup. Yeah, so I'm going to like scrunch it all up and then pull loads of elastic bands around it. Here we go. You can really see the difference in colour. <laughs> How this one's lighter and this one's like a more creamy white. Um, but yeah, this is what we're working with. I don't know. I'm not feeling too confident. I'm not going to lie. And I haven't even put any dye on yet. Um, but yeah. <laughs> oh, my back is in agony from kneeling down on the floor. I'm going to put some gloves on. Can't even go on the internet. Bow. Without even shaking your name. <laughs> Fuck's sake. That was meant to be so cool. I'm now realising it looks like we have an obsession with glass cleaner in this house. Because here's another bottle of window lean. Except it's just water. And a little bit of fairy liquid. Um, it's very clean. I washed it out. Don't worry. I'm not putting glass cleaner on my nice truck suit. But now... I'm just going by um, a method that I saw some girls do and it seemed to work. I should have opened this before I put gloves on. What should I do with this? Bin. Bin. And I don't have one of those like cool little um, bottles with a nozzle either. So we're just going to go with this and hope it works. So. I need more than that. I don't know how much to do. It's pretty dark, isn't it? I saw someone say testing on a bit of kitchen roll, a bit of tissue, so that's what I'm gonna do. Everything's harder with gloves. That's nothing. I need more. Am I doing it wrong? No colours coming out. Okay, it's not too bad, but it definitely needs more dye. I'm gonna go for it. It looks really dark in the bottle. Ah, I'm still filming! <laughs> huh. Okay, here's what we've got. Um, now I'm going to put them in some plastic bags. Right, we've got Tesco. Shouldn't have taken my glove off really, but it's fine. That's fine. And we've got Asda. <laughs> a lot heavier okay right i've just got to leave these here for hours now and see what happens now we have to wait a long time and i'm about to eat another piece of banana bread on a piece of kitchen roll because i don't want to dirty another plate do you know what i mean i have to stop trying to talk in a liverpudlian accent that's what you get from watching every jodie coma interview ever i think i'm slightly obsessed 
think I want to be an actress. Yeah, no one's going to employ me. I wish I could do a Liverpudlian accent. This is the best angle ever. I'm losing my self-control. <laughs> Harry's with his best friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why is my hair like this? <laughs> look bloody hilarious. Do you remember when people used to leave their hair like this? It's many hours later. Um, I've got a dairy milk time. I've had my dinner. I'm sitting down with a dairy milk time. I really want another coffee. I've had two coffees today already and it is like, I don't know what the time is, but I think it's like 8pm. Um, I shouldn't have a coffee but I really I don't know whether to leave my tie-dye um, overnight or whether to do it tonight, I don't know. This jumper, this whole set is freaking massive on me. But I love it. I used basically the whole bottle of dye after because it did come out quite pale, so I like redid it again. Um, this is perfect. Look at it, especially the bottoms. Imagine these of like a little top. Oh my god, it's like cloudy skies. I love it. Gorge. Gorgeous. Well, this is what I'm going to be living in for the rest of these days. <laughs> and we're done. Oh, I love this. I want to order more and do some more. I've had a full makeup free vlog. This never happens. I've also developed a cold sore. Absolutely love it. <laughs> it's great. But thanks so much for watching, guys. If you liked, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe down below. I'm going to go now. Watch some more BBC series because I'm freaking obsessed with them at the minute. Yeah. Love you. Bye.